right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And guys, we have an interesting video for you today. Hopefully you will enjoy this. Uh, sorry for the extra mess on the sides here, but I had to raise the camera up to fit the whole case in. Maybe we'll lower it back down in a minute. But this uh, is the Knives Fast channel. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stick around and have some fun. And what we're going to do, guys, is this has become my primary case. Uh, by the way, this is a Cavill knife case. What I like about this case is it's 24 knives. I wish they made a bigger one, but it comes with pre-cut out uh, places for your knives that are going to hold up way better uh, than some of the pick and pluck uh, stuff out there. So I really like this. Uh, they are available at the time I'm recording this on Amazon, and I'll try to put a link <clears throat> in there. I think uh, I paid, I just bought another one yesterday to take all my Tempest uh, knives to Blade Show. Um, and, uh, um, so I think they, it was 70 bucks on Amazon. They have them on Cavill's website for 60 bucks, but again, you pay for it in shipping, I think. So, uh, really cool case does have the, um, air balance down here where you can, uh, you know, make sure air is coming in and it doesn't get too, uh, sticky and messy in there. Um, now there is a knife missing cause I'm carrying it today and that is the Kaiser, uh, Kaiser, the Kershaw Bel Air. Uh, but uh, what I want to do is I just want to talk to you guys about the, this case in general, and then we're going to go through the first row today. We'll do another video with second row and another video for the third row. Now, I will tell you, the second row, now, these are not necessarily ranked according to my highest knives, although it's pretty close. But right now, I would put this guy, uh, the Devo... Um, Stout V2, this guy would be in my top five knives. It's back here because this entire row is Devo knives. Uh, it's just with the Devos, okay? So uh, these are basically my top, was a eight without the Devo? So uh, top nine, I guess you would say, if you want to include that. But we'll go through that, and then we'll do another video on these, probably just the Devos, and then we'll do another video uh, later on. On those so let's get started so this isn't a 25,000 minute video okay so first things first and these by the way these are not okay I will tell you what we'll fix this real quick <laughs> now they're 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 more closely ranked now where would the stout the stout go dang um so all right so I'm gonna put it where it would go and we'll talk about it when we get there it'll either go here uh, yeah, I think it does. Okay. So it would be third. So we'll talk about that as we go. All right. So number one, duh, is, uh, man, look at that. I've been cutting with it again, guys. Hold on. We'll get some alcohol and clean that blade up. Uh, and you can, you can watch me clean it because I hate to show this guy off with a dirty blade because it is such a beautiful knife. Uh, but, oh, so let's talk about that a little bit. This is the Holt Morpheus. And this was gifted to me uh, by a friend, uh, Nicholas Shires. He's been a big supporter of Knives Fast for quite some time now. Uh, he knew this was my grail, and he is a big Holt guy. He uh, works with them at Blade Show. He's just a really super great uh, member of the community, and he just stinking gifted this to me. Every time I say that, um, I get emotional because it's, it's pretty insane uh, to think of this kind of a gift. Uh, I am nobody special. I am just another crazy knife nut, just like the rest of you guys. And the fact that somebody wanted to gift this to me is a little bit crazy. One more, one more pass here. I just want to make it nice and pretty. All right, there we go. So that is the Holt. Uh, I still missed the spot, but whatever. We'll just move on. Um, no, we won't because you're KC. Uh, guys, uh, don't try being me. Uh, you would not like it at all. Uh, <laughs> all right. So this is the Holt Morpheus. Uh, this is in the feather milling. Uh, you have beautiful uh, titanium hardware that's been anodized uh, to this beautiful teal color. You have milling also on the clip, which I think looks absolutely stunning. You have a mirrored stone wash blade and the action on this thing is ridiculous now this is a very expensive knife it really is um man i still got something on it um very expensive knife 
out way outside of what I usually spend on a knife. Someday I hope to be in this category, but I am not there anywhere close right now. But the action on this thing is ridiculous. You got the D10 is dialed perfectly. You can see the bearings allow it to just glide. Okay, if we spend that much time on every knife, this will be a very long video. So, second in line is uh, this beautiful Berg Blades Sweeney, guys. 20 CV, by the way, this guy's M390. Uh, 20 CV, you got uh, this shred carbon fiber and titanium. I love the longer bolster area here. Beautiful clip. Uh, these are made by Riot. Uh, designed, of course, by uh, Matt over there at Berg Blades. Uh, great access to the lock bar. I can actually use the front flipper. You guys know I'm bigger on hole deployment. Um, and everybody say hi to Ashlyn. She's over there feeding the bunny. So, uh, very cool. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. 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 I hope you find your dad. Okay, hi, fine. Buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm your dad. Oh, wait. Um, all right. So uh, this is, again, the Holt, uh, the Holt, the uh, Berg Blades Sweeney. Next in line is Sweeney uh, is, well, I just said I would put the Devo uh, third. So uh, if you were doing it in order, the Devo Stout V2 is amazing. This is a best tech made knife, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so uh, next in this line is uh, the beautiful uh, Quiet Carry 9. And I've, guys, I've got to sell some knives coming up before Blade Show uh, to raise some money. And I'm really tempted to sell this one, not because I don't like it, uh, but because I know it would sell if I, if I actually wanted to sell it. And um, yeah, I just need to sell a few. And th some of these are non negotiable. So uh, this one is negotiable. And I don't know why. I just have in my head which ones are and which aren't. But anyway, if you're interested in this guy, reach out to me, knivesfast at gmail.com, and we'll talk. Uh, but I haven't been aggressive about selling it, but I definitely got to get some Blade Show money uh, before too long. But this thing is beautiful. I mean, this is just an absolute gorgeous knife. You got the black with the knurling up here on the titanium. It is contoured. You'll notice that a lot. I like contoured. It is a frame lock, but it works really well for me. You have this absolutely gorgeous uh, nebula fat carbon, and this guy is made in Taiwan, and it is made right. Um, just so good. Now, this guy, and I had some people guffing with me on this recently. This is uh, the TRM Atom. Now, uh, this is special because it's my only TRM knife, and they've been really good to the channel, and I'm going to keep it. And I love the Atom. It's a great size for me. Um, it's 20 CV. It's a thin, ridiculous slicer. Uh, but more than anything, I just love these Tidal Wave G Carta scales. And I'm going to say it again, and I got some guff for this, but I've got this directly from TRM. These were a very limited run of scales, and they did one run of these scales and they are not making more um, and so this is a very rare model with these scales on now the atom itself there's tons of atoms out there by now i get it but this particular one there were not many of the gl hansen uh tidal wave jicarta uh material done on their knives they have told me that uh, but i love this thing it is absolutely phenomenal and we are halfway through, so this is going to be a very long video. So brace yourself. Next, we have uh, the Giant Mouse uh, GM2. Now, this is one of the first really nice knives I got a hold of. I actually won this on a giveaway. They were doing an Instagram giveaway. This was, shoot, years ago. I got, I got, you guys, if you think I don't use my knives... Just watch my videos, okay? <laughs> I definitely use the knives. Uh, matter of fact, this guy probably needs a new edge. Um, it had one not too long ago, uh, but it feels like maybe it needs a little help. But uh, this is the Giant Mouse GM2, which is uh, a limited run of 300. This is number 27 of 300. Um, great access to the lock bar. Beautiful blade. Now, this one... Uh, Guys, I, I got to be honest, the, the action on it was a little dead. Uh, Lefty EDC took this apart and tweaked the lock bar a little bit for me. 
and we we now have nice snap to it. Uh, either way, now it's still not detent wise quite where I would like it, but I'm not messing with it anymore. He locked tied it. He may have even glued it, knowing Kevin. But uh, really, really nice. And yes, I have carried it quite a bit. Um, if a knife is in my collection, including the the Morpheus, it's gonna get used and carried. It's just the way it is. So really, really cool. Now I'm all, this is another one. I'm not sure I'll hold on to long term, but for now, I just love this knife. This is my only Tuya. No, I have two Tuyas, uh, so I take that back. But this is uh, a Tuya, uh, shoot, Envy V4, um, and I just love this copper carbon fiber. This is the favorite copper carbon fiber I've seen, and then this sheep's footy blade, the way it fits in my hand, um, this kind of swell in your palm feels really nice in the hand. I just dig this knife a lot. Um, thumb studs, it just pops and fires on them. Um, just dig that knife a lot. Dave Warren is killing it over there. You know, I've never, I don't know if I've ever tried to flick it off of the uh, grind here. Let's see. Nope, can't do it. Too tight of a detent, uh, which is great. Um uh, the steel on that one. Oh, by the way, this guy's M390. This is 20 CV uh, S90. This is S90. That's another reason I like it. Very cool. All right, next, and this just moved into this position recently. This is uh, the Artisan Seder. Uh, the Seder is a Cerberus design. I sold my Arian. Still can't believe I did it. Another S90V and. My, this blade shape just leaves me speechless. I love uh, this gorgeous drop point blade. This awesome milling on the handle. Very thin. Uh, I hate to say it, uh, but the Arian I had had blue. Now, if they come out with a Seder with the Arctic Storm Fat Carbon, I will be getting one, okay? It's just that simple. Um, I'll find the money. I'll get one. Um, but... Uh, I missed the Arian because of the blue, but I think the Seder is a way better knife. Just my opinion. Uh, now, big four-finger hand here. Big, nice four-finger grip on my big hand is what I'm trying to say. Love, love that knife. All right. We're only at almost 12 and a half minutes. That's not bad. All right. And last but not least is this beast. Uh, this thing, S35VN, is the best tech Keen 2. Uh, yes, uh, the largest knife in this case. Uh, probably the largest folder still in my collection. Yes, largest folder still in my collection because I think, let's see. All right, hold on. We got we to gotta, we gotta check. The, the next closest had been the Kaiser Beglider XL, uh, which is definitely smaller. So, yep. Biggest folder still in my collection. Uh, Best Tech Keen 2. I love the satin finish. You got satin on the flat that is horizontal. You got vertical satin on the swedge. And you got this absolutely gorgeous stone wash on the blade. Big swell right here in the palm. Just locks me in for good. Uh, and a huge blade that breaks down any kind of box or any kind of anything. And the action is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, wow. Just a crazy good knife. Does not get enough credit. Uh, a lot of people just dismiss it because of the size. And I think you're missing out. So that's just my opinion. So there you go. That is the front row and the Devo stout of my Cavill Knives case. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, please let me know down below and tell me uh, what you think. of. Now, look, let's just be honest. Uh, the, the Morpheus is, is way and above anything I could imagine in my collection and would rank up there with anybody's collection, in my opinion. But... I know that my front row probably doesn't begin to rival some of your collections. And we talk in our little pass around group uh, all the time. As some of these guys have some crazy modified knives, crazy knives, maybe some customs. Uh, Brad from Screaming Pirate comes to mind. He's got a little bit of everything and um, knife dope and, and all these guys 
uh, uh, Stafford EDC lefty. I, I don't have any kind of the brown cortexes or, or uh, you know, cr- any of the Craig Brown stuff or any. Uh, I don't have a Jaeger. I don't have any of that stuff. So obviously these guys have a, a more high powered collection than I do. Uh, but I really love what I have for me. Um, and I, uh, I am not complaining in any way. I'm just saying there's going to be somebody coming in here saying, my front row, my collection's way better than yours. And it probably is. And good for you. And I am very glad. So uh, someday, uh, but I am extremely happy with what I have, especially uh, having that Morpheus in there for sure. So what do you guys think? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, guys, and stick around on the Knives Fast channel. Very happy that you're here, and I'm sorry this is a 16-plus minute video. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.